our topic for this week's discussion board is street gangs. And the first thing I want to talk about is gang migration and how people say that gang migration is like the number one reason that gangs are becoming more prevalent in places where they haven't been. And I agree with that to a degree, but I feel like it's more, you're having a greater number of juveniles getting into the gang lifestyle all over America. And there's even some that are starting their own gangs. So, as for the bigger gangs like the Bloods, Crips, I do believe that gang migration has played a huge part in the spreading of the Blood chapters, Crip chapters, um, white supremacy groups, all that. But as for like these local groups, like the local gangs, I feel like it's just they're having a rising number in juveniles and it's causing it to spread out. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about is prevention. It talks about uh, holding the prevention of juveniles, getting into gang activity between 10 and 14. So they say that if you hit, get to a kid between the age of 10 and 14, then you can change his mind about getting into these gang activities. I do not agree with this at all. I don't believe that there should be an age limit to prevent somebody from uh, getting into the gang lifestyle. I believe anybody can be changed, whether they're 40, 14, 20, 7. I feel like anybody with the right support and the right tools can steer away from the gang lifestyle. And um, we just have to find more resources, find more things that we can use to help, like for kids, like after school programs to keep them like in the mindset of school, have them hanging around good influences, having teachers around, because with this, they won't have time to go out and join a gang or go out and commit crime, go out and do something that could ruin their life. So, and, uh, Another thing is the uh, reasons in which juveniles are leaving gangs. There was a uh, interview with 24 former gang members out of St. Louis. And uh, the main reason that uh, was talked about, about juveniles leaving is uh, violence, um, victimization, which means uh, being a victim to violence. And most of these gangs, you have to have initiation or something like this. And these kids are put through tough, t tough activities in order to get into the gang. Like, and the higher ups, the leaders and that, they abuse them. They basically treat, treat them like crap just because they're younger. And it's just part of the initiation to get into these gangs. So I feel like if, um... We can just hit them early and keep them from joining the gangs. Or we could even have like stu like study tools and stuff that shows them what gangs are like. Like what they're going to experience, the problems they might experience. I believe if we can get this into the minds of the kids, it'll steer them away from wanting to join gangs. Some of them are still going to want to join because they've just got that mindset or... um. They just want to like fit in. And that brings me to my next topic about it said in here that the main reason that juveniles are seen joining gangs is because family history, which means their family has been doing crime. Uh, let's say their dad's been in a gang and it rubs off on them. I, I mean, I support that to a degree, but I believe it's more of a fitting in factor. It's more of these juveniles going out coming from broken homes, not having many friends, and they turn to the gangs because it's a place for them to fit in. It's a place for them to feel like they have people that support them and have people that care about them. And I believe that is the main reason that you see a rising number of juveniles joining gangs is because it's like home to them. Because 
let's say they come from a broken home and these guys welcome them, welcome them with open arms, they're going to enjoy that. They're going to enjoy the attention and therefore they're going to resort to crime to keep those friends or so-called friends. So I believe that there's a lot of things that we could do different to stop street, not stop street gangs, but stop these juveniles from getting into gang activity and pretty much saving their life in the end.